and welcome to lockdown vlog number 31 today is a gray day as you can see it's gloomy gray skies it is dry at the moment but well it's better to play some music and drink some coffee Well, you beat my dog, you eat my frog, you drink up all my gin. You bathe the moon and you sleep till noon and you never tell me where you've been. I buy you clothes, I fix your nose, I steal you ruby rings. You break the rules, you pee in pools, you do outrageous things. Woman, I lie, I cheat, I steal, I cry for you, woman. Woman, I lay down my life and die for you, woman. Well, you take my car, you drive so far, you come back with a tank on E. Your hair all messed, you have dressed, and you just look at me. You out all night, you come in tight, you fall down on my bed. There you lay for all the next day, for all I know, you did. Woman, I lie, I cheat, I still I cry for you, woman. Woman, I lay down my life and die for you, woman. But I listen, friend, this has got to end. We got to have ourselves a talk. Things got to change to rearrange, or somebody gonna take a walk. Now I am one to put down fun, but this time you've gone too far. You smoke my hash, you spend my cash, who the hell you think you are? Cause you beat my dog, you eat my frog, you drink up all my gin. You bathe the moon and you sleep till noon, and you never tell me where you've been. I don't know why I even tried to change the status quo. Cause you break the rules, you pee in pools. Still I love you so, pretty baby, still I love you so, pretty baby, still I love you so, pretty baby, still I love you so. Okay, and let's turn it down. That was Jay Leonard. Let me drink some coffee. This is a short song, so I thought, well, let's give it to you all the way because, um, well, YouTube is going to flag uh, this song anyways. Uh, Jay Leonard is a bass player and he has very funny lyrics together with Grace, great uh, bass playing. Um, for today, I told you about... Um, picking up some new uh, gear now the cassette deck the CR2 from Nakamichi that is the one that I already had you have already seen that in the vlog where I showed you my girlfriend's setup for the moment because her CD, her, her CD player was uh, broken uh, is broken I have the Nakamichi CD player matching these two guys at my girlfriend's house and yesterday I picked up let me zoom in a little bit and yesterday I picked up this Nakamichi SR3E it's a receiver so there's a tuner in there and an amplifier and first impressions is that they are that this thing is actually very nice the main aim for me was to bring the whole set together a tape deck a CD player and the amplifier and this is an amplifier which has a stasis what does it say inherity stable uniform impedance amplifier well you can't go wrong with that of course but interesting is that the stasis um, design is actually from Nelson Pass which is of course one of the big boys in uh, audiophile country um, so one day I am going to do a review of this one of course but there is a, a strange thing that I would like to uh, say because if we look at the back well one thing as you can see this is quite a deep big amplifier much bigger than many other 
uh, amplifiers that I have here. And it has connections for two sets of loudspeakers. But strangely enough, these, these do look like they take um, banana plugs, but actually inside it's only plastic. So I had to go to bare wire to connect this thing. I don't know if any of you have ever had this thing, but if you look inside, and I'm sure, let me try. It's all plastic in there, there is no metal. Only at the very end, maybe the tip of the um, banana plug would fit and touch that little metal part. But it doesn't really say in the manual. Um, but anyways, if any of you have experience with this, am I correct that this thing just looks like it takes banana plugs or um, it doesn't? Another thing I was thinking, maybe, because I was... I found out when I tried to... Um, these Nordost cables, when I tried to connect them in there, but I thought maybe there's just a pin and for hollow banana plugs like this they should just um, slide over it because when I try to put this one in there it only goes in just a little bit and it should go in much further so this was interesting um, but I now have um, this trio of the cassette deck, the CD player, and the, uh, the amplifier, and I'm very, very happy with it. Today, playing with this Q Sound loudspeakers, and so I had these banana plugs. See, to do, today, I'm doing special effects, which is zooming in and zooming out. I had these banana plugs, and I made this little loudspeaker cable for it. So over here we have the bare wire, of course. And I ordered a lot of loudspeaker cable from uh, Amazon. Let me show you. All right over there. This is 50 meters of uh, loudspeaker cable and I used a few meters to connect the, uh, the Nakamichi and the Q, uh, Q acoustics and I used these banana plugs. They are cheap, efficient, they are very nice. Of course, everybody knows. And I picked up a bunch of these also. Of course, everybody knows these from Nakamichi. Many people are using these. Um, they look... Can I do this with one hand? Because... No, wait. Is that better? Yes. So they look very much alike, but one is a little bit bigger, takes bigger gauge wire, and the other one is a bit thinner. Here you can see the. Come on. Here you can see the difference in how thick of a wire they can take. So why did I buy that loudspeaker cable after telling everybody that I'm always using real loudspeaker cable and other kind of cables. We have the thick from the holes over there. Well, you know my man cave downstairs with all the equipment for temporarily I used all kind of, let's say, better loudspeakers uh, loudspeaker cables and interconnects down there 
Um, but the problem for downstairs is that those things are mostly uh, a bit thicker and also not as flexible as this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all my serious cables from downstairs and put in these cables and I needed quite a bit of wire to do some nice cable management because the cable management you can't see it when you look in in the room but I know it is a mess and one of the reasons was because all these kind of cables are too thick or too not so very easy to handle and I have to um, try to hide them in all kind of small places so that is one project that I'm going to do and change all the wiring downstairs um, so that's what is going on in my house is there anything else all right they didn't have the pins that I wanted uh, yesterday so I still don't have any pins but there is more and more people coming in and telling me where they live which I like very much and if you haven't yet please feel free to tell me where do you live so I can put a pin on the map and I know where all you guys are um, and the last thing is the coffee of today I used this little baby now this looks a lot like the Chemex that I've showed you before it is the same sort of design but it is not the same they don't call it a Chemex they just call it a cafetiere and what I did with this one is to have this metal coffee filter so you don't need any paper you just put your coffee in here when it's done you just take it in the trash can and then you don't have to waste any paper um, it does change the, the metal it does change the uh, the taste a little bit and most of the time can we see that here no I wanted to show you but where paper makes sure there is no coffee grit in the coffee this metal filter will always let through a little bit of grit which will end up in your coffee right over there but this had to be of course part of the collection okay so a short one for today or even though it's already 13 minutes this is a great day. Today I'm going uh, hunting for the pins that I want, hoping I can fill the, uh, the atlas. And for now, I say thank you, for, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.